So what kind of cleaning procedures ensure a plane is sanitized from a virus like Ebola? Well, tonight we went looking for answers, and it turns out it's not as difficult to clean out a plane as you might think. Rubbing surfaces down with alcohol and bleach can help disinfect parts of the plane. A University of Denver professor telling us those cleaning measures are probably sufficient enough. The risk is probably relatively low and the decontamination of the uh, efforts on the plane have probably been as effective as we can uh, expect at the moment. As always, you can protect yourself by washing your hands or using alcohol-based hand sanitizer. President Barack Obama also sounding off on the new recent cases of Ebola this afternoon. You may have caught a few of his remarks here on 7 News. The president telling the CDC he wants a rapid response team to help out at any hospital reporting a patient with Ebola virus. The president saying combating this virus will require intervention, not just here in America, but around the world. I am absolutely confident that we can prevent a serious outbreak of the disease here in the United States. But it becomes more difficult to do so if this epidemic of Ebola rages out of control in West Africa. And tonight we know the president is canceling his travel plans tomorrow to New York to monitor the government's response to Ebola. Now take comfort here because getting Ebola is not easy. The CDC says there has to be direct contact through blood or body fluids. It enters through broken skin or mucous membranes like your eyes, nose or mouth. You can also contract it through infected needles or syringes or from infected animals. It is not spread through the air or by water or in general by food. To date, there is no evidence that mosquitoes or other insects can transmit Ebola. Only mammals, we're talking humans, bats, monkeys, and apes, have shown the ability to become infected with and spread the Ebola virus. Now, if you are looking for more information about Ebola, you can find it on our website, thedenverchannel.com. We've updated information for you on the two cases here in the U.S. and facts and information on the virus.